at 942, four Magura V, five unmanned surface vessels cut through the Black Sea waves at a cruising speed of 42 knots. Inside are electronics, fuel, and a 320 kilogram explosive payload carrying the force of an aircraft bomb. They spread out in a random pattern 300 meters wide. This tactic is like throwing a handful of marbles on the floor to make someone slip, leaving the enemy unsure where to focus. On a Russian logistics ship docked outside the perimeter, a drone operator straps FPV goggles to his face. No expensive helicopters are flying today. Modern warfare has evolved into a duel between cheap electronic toys. The Russian operator launches a homemade quadcopter, a $500 expendable FPV drone, into the air. On his screen, the static-filled analog video signal shows white dots on dark blue water, the wake trails of the Magura formation. With precise finger movements, the Russian operator dives his aerial drone at a sharp angle. It is simple, deadly mathematics trading a cheap plastic drone to save expensive military assets. The FPV drone dives like a mechanical hawk, ignoring intercept fire, and slams directly into the top of one Magura V-5. A small explosion triggers a massive secondary blast. One Magura unit turns into a fireball at sea before it can approach the harbor. Score, 1-0 for the Russian FPV operator. However, the other three continue without slowing down. 9.43. Two gray silhouettes cut across the horizon from the port. A Mangus-class and a Raptor-class patrol boat emerge to intercept. They are the gatekeepers of the harbor perimeter. The Mangust, having a more stable firing position as it exits the breakwater, immediately unleashes a barrage with its heavy cannon. Rhythmic thumps dominate the area. These large caliber rounds carry enough energy to split a car engine in two. Luck finally runs out. One round slams into a drone. Imagine hitting a watermelon with a sledgehammer. That is what happens to the vessel's structure when it meets high-velocity steel. The drone disintegrates instantly. The loss is recorded in the operation log, but this is a calculated cost of doing business. This loss triggers a tactical shift for the remaining two units. The operators in a bunker hundreds of kilometers away do not retreat. They split their tasks cunningly. The first unit maintains a straight line toward the dock while the second executes a wild maneuver. It turns and locks onto the Raptor patrol boat. The situation turns into a dark comedy in an instant. A 23-ton patrol boat designed as a sea hunter is now the prey, chased by a plastic boat the size of a sedan. Realizing the danger of a close-range explosion, the Raptor's captain spins the vessel 180 degrees and orders full speed toward the open sea. It is humiliating to see a giant war machine running for its life from a remote-controlled toy. 0944. The Raptor's engines roar, pumping water to reach 48 knots. The boat streaks away, leaving a massive chaotic wake behind it. The water churns like the inside of a broken washing machine. The chasing drone has no choice but to surf these artificial waves. The drone's body is thrown into the air every time it hits a crest. On the rear deck of the Raptor, a heavy machine gunner tries desperately to stop the pursuer. He stands behind his weapon while his body is slammed around by the boat, cutting through the waves. This is an unfair duel. Shooting backward from a speeding boat bouncing over waves is nearly impossible. The bullets do not fly straight due to the wind and the vessel's movement. It is like trying to throw a dart at a bullseye while rolling down a fire escape on roller skates. Most of the Russian crew's shots miss wide to the left and right, creating water splashes that only obscure their own vision. 0945. The gap shrinks to 100 meters. The Magura V-5 closes in stubbornly. Return fire becomes wild and sprays in all directions. The drone operator sees this opening and pushes the throttle to the max. 
The drone surges forward, cutting the distance to 50 meters. The gunner tries to depress the weapon's muzzle, but it hits the ship's own railing. The drone has entered the dead zone. The crew can only watch in stunned silence as the mechanical killer closes in, unstoppable. It is deeply ironic to see a multi-million dollar weapon system rendered useless simply because a gun hinge cannot pivot a few centimeters lower. 095535. The nose of the drone slams into the Raptor's hull right beside the engines. The contact fuse engages. The 320 kilogram warhead detonates instantly. The ship's steel tears as easily as a paper food wrapper. The rear structure is totally obliterated. The engines snap and the fuel tanks rupture. Escaping gasoline vapors are instantly ignited by the heat of the blast. A massive fireball erupts, swallowing the rear of the ship. The proud, modern patrol boat turns into a very expensive floating bonfire. 946. The chase is over, but the mission is not complete. The final drone unit moves alone toward the docks. Guards on the shore begin firing rifles. Bullets splash in the water, but the small rounds merely bounce off the drone's hull like gravel thrown at bulletproof glass. Rifle fire is not strong enough to stop a one-ton object moving at 80 kilometers per hour. The visual target, the concrete pillars of the two apps terminal, appears faintly on the static-filled screen. Large black oil pipes are clearly visible above them. This is the enemy's economic artery. The operator locks the final heading and releases the controls. There is nothing left to do but let the laws of physics take over. 0 50 direct hit. The drone strikes the main concrete pier at full speed. The warhead detonates exactly at the waterline. The hard concrete is pulverized into dust and rubble in an instant. The oil pipes snap. Thousands of liters of crude oil gush out like a black waterfall. The residual heat from the initial blast ignites the flow. A massive fire erupts immediately. Flames tower into the sky, followed by thick black smoke visible from miles away. 950. The enemy radio goes silent, replaced by panic. The final result is humiliating for the massive fleet. Advanced warships and ground troops have just been defeated by a few plastic boats assembled in a garage. One warship is sinking, and one oil terminal is burning fiercely. The cost of this attack might equal the price of a single luxury car, but the damage to the enemy reaches astronomical figures. Watch your six.